You know, it certainly seems like the state of Texas is taking what doesn't kill you makes you stronger to the next level. The coronavirus pandemic is still raging, so why are some states relaxing mask requirements? Well, maybe they think the people of Texas have a death wish. Maybe they don't care. Maybe they're trying to Darwin their citizenry. With all we know, it certainly seems as though not wearing a mask and potentially dying of COVID is a dumb way to die. So, does Texas value life, or does the Lone Star State offer other dumb ways to die? We sent our special team of correspondents into harm's way to find out. I'm your anchor, Paul Gubiati, and to bring us more, we have Stacy Keller, Gary Thomas, Father James McKenna, and Joey Maga. First, I'd like to go over to James, who's in Waco, Texas. Is anyone wearing a mask in Waco? That's right, Paul. I'm here in a newly gentrified area of Waco where mask mandates have been lifted and folks are getting back to their normal pre-COVID lives. Uh, Father, I'm hearing some gunshots in the background. Are you safe? No. Not only do I wish I had a mask to protect me from all the fresh COVID down here, but I also wish I had some body armor on account of the mass shooting that's happening over here. Texans love their guns, so the Branch Davidians were able to make a comeback. Jesus, I'm vaccinated Christ. We need to get you out of there. Yeah, that'd be nice. Prepare to die. Well, too late. Looks like we're having some technical difficulties and or Father James just got murdered. So let's go over to Joey and Austin. Look, I'm not complaining about the food. I'm here at a barbecue, and it is so good. But did you have to send me to such a lefty part of Texas? Death doesn't care if you're left or right. What are your sources on social media telling you about masking in Austin? That's right. What I'm seeing on Snatch Chat is that in addition to relaxing mask requirements, the Texas Board of Health has also relaxed enforcement of food safety protocol. Interesting. Well, didn't you just scarf down an entire plate of brisket? Uh, I did. I don't feel all that great. In fact, I think I might have food poison. You alive, bro? Well, I guess Joey is now one of the 3,000 people a year to die of food poisoning. We can always count on Texas to add to the body count. Next, let's go over to Stacy, who's at an oil refinery. Stacy, what are you learning? You know, I see the pattern here. I'm a Democrat. I'm smart. I don't have a death wish. And you've sent us to a dangerous place, so fuck you. Covering dangerous situations is a part of being a journalist. Plus, you're at an oil refinery. What could possibly go wrong? Well, in this case, it's a bunch of environmental deregulation that has been put into effect so the oil companies can get to their precious dinosaur juice, thus displacing a whole bunch of animals. God damn it, that's a snake, isn't it? Yep. Ugh, why is it always snakes? You okay, boo-boo? No, I'm dead from the f***ing snake. Hmm, I guess that means the only one left is Gary Thomas. How are you doing down there, Gary? Oh boy. My man, you okay? I guess Texans aren't very well equipped to deal with the winter weather either. I guess guns kill people and Texas kills people. We're going to take a commercial break and try to find some correspondents that didn't get killed in Texas. We'll be right back. 